I couldn't believe it. This was the perfect setup in doe rich territory. We saw countless bucks, shooter bucks, bucks of every size. David and I have already killed our bucks for the week. We're not even allowed to shoot these bucks. There's a 10 pointer down there, 150 yards, but get on. Get on, get, get it. Get out of here. Yeah, there he goes. Good. There's nothing worse than a trophy buck to mess up your dough. Coming in, wanting to chase everything. Snort Yeah. All that stuff. I get tired of snort wheezing. I've had so many trophy deer in bow range, I just, it's so. That. Yeah. I hate that. It, Fighting, carrying on, tearing up the woods. Can't have nice things. Can't. Little bucks get to tearing stuff up. Ruin, ruin your dough hunting. Cannot have nice things. This has been a really disappointing set. We tell Paul Holt to put us where the does are. What's he do? Covers us up with bug. And good he ones do. He's trying to protect his does. So he's trying to do that. Right? They're lucky they're not slick heads. All kidding aside, man, we were absolutely trying to kill a doe on this hunt. Could not see a doe all evening. Bucks everywhere, no does in sight. This is a perfect example of if it was easy to kill does, everybody be doing it. Everybody be trying. You don't think Paul Holt was saving the doe spots for him, do you? I don't know. I wouldn't put it past him. Nobody's immune to jealousy. Even the outfitter like Paul, he sees us killing, making killing does great again. And he just got jealous. We'll put old Kip and David in the car hole. They did car holes. I feel like Paul was responsible for showing us a good time. Like if one of your buddies is responsible for taking you out on the town and showing you a good time, and, and we're going to go to ladies' night, but then he just takes you to a gay bar instead. That was our hunt. Thanks, Paul.